Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Anchor kya hota hai? Anchor actor hota hai. Actor ko kya chahiye? Actor ko audience chahiye. Audience ko kya chahiye? Audience ko drama chahiye. This exchange between a television channel boss and a leading television anchor nails the rotten state of Indian broadcast media. Truth and trust are the collateral damage in a ceaseless ratings war. All that matters is eyeballs by any means necessary. Dhamaka is a largely faithful remake of the 2013 South Korean film The Terror Live. Karthik Aryan plays Arjun Pathak. Arjun was once a successful award-winning television personality with a primetime show, but his career and his personal life are now in shambles. Arjun has been demoted to a radio show which made me wonder how RJs will feel about their job being seen as a downgrade. Arjun is frustrated and deeply unhappy. When a random caller on his show claims that he will blow up the ceiling in Mumbai and then makes good on his promise, Arjun grabs a chance to grab the spotlight again. Dhamaka, which was shot during the pandemic in 10 days, is essentially a vehicle for Karthik to show that he can do much more than deliver monologues with aplomb. Arjun undergoes a steep learning curve. He's a corrupt opportunist, but as the drama unfolds, he comes to understand that he, like the bomber, is a disposable pawn in a system that thrives on exploitation and lies. The Dhamaka is literal but also metaphorical. Arjun's career, his reputation, his relationships, his place in the world are all blown to bits. As he is put through the ringer on live television, Arjun discovers his own best instincts. It's a delectable role and under the tutelage of director Ram Madhwani, Karthik shows flashes of depth and seriousness that he hasn't revealed before, especially in the last 30 minutes of the film. Karthik found his fame playing the boy next door in rom-coms in which he sometimes came off as smug but also high-pitched and over-eager. That's entirely missing here. The screenplay offers the actor moments of vulnerability and stillness and he does well with them. Ram and his co-writer Puneet Sharma also attempt to weave in more emotion and plausibility into their version. Arjun's wife Soumya, played by Mrunal Thakur, gets a little more screen time. And Dhamaka offers an explanation, however feeble, for the ease with which the bomber is able to blow up things. But ultimately, the middling nature of the source material also reflects in the remake. The Terror Live is intermittently gripping with stretches of suspense and so is Dhamaka. Most of the film takes place in one location. Ram D.O.P. Manu Anand, lead editor Monisha R. Baldava and co-editor Amit Karya notch up the tension with shaky cameras and quick cuts. The film begins with footage of Arjun and Soumya in happier times. Even the couple's small personal moments are recorded. It's a nice touch establishing that this is a story about a life lived on camera. But finally, the scenario is too outlandish and the writing too ordinary. Take the character of Ankita, Arjun's boss. Ankita, who barks orders and manipulates people and is only interested in her own ascent, is such a cliché that even the wonderful Amrita Subhash can't make her real. The same goes for Soumya, who is portrayed as a paragon of courage and virtue. She is Arjun's conscience, which he loses along the way. He becomes like the rest of the television folk, a person who doesn't report the news but sells it. The irony is that the television channel is named Bharosa 24-7. Ram, usually a director given to subtlety and shades, underlines the messaging here. And just in case you don't get the moral of the story, the song Khoya Paya composed by Vishal Khurana and sung by Amit Trivedi and Del Raz Buncha hammers it in. Arjun is also a bit of an also-ran, coming on the heels of other blindly ambitious television anchor characters such as Sanjeev Mehra in Patal Lok and Mansi Hirani in Mumbai Diaries 2611. And the idea of a common man against the system was done with far more suspense and grip in Neeraj Pandey's 2008 film A Wednesday. Tamaka isn't a bad film. I don't think Ram is capable of making one. But it doesn't match his previous work. The brilliant Nirja, also a story about terror in an enclosed space, and the series Arya. Tamaka is passable, which coming from Ram feels like he was slumming it. You can watch the film on Netflix India. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and don't forget to check out our website, filmcompanion.in.